and JJ Primetime Nelson. I've been looking forward to this one uh, since they announced it. Oh, beautiful body kick from Greg Foster. No touch of gloves. No, that fight starts fast. JJ Nelson chucking heat, leg kick by Greg Foster. Nelson switches stances. Nelson is coming in really low. He's got a very, very low stance. Oh. I think he's anticipating the takedown here from Greg Foster, which, I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't necessarily need to. Great use of range here by Greg Foster. Well, look, Nelson ain't shying away. Oh, Nelson throwing heat on these punches. Good oh, right oh, hand. Overhand by Nelson. Great footwork here from Nelson. Nelson. Foster's stocking. Foster is stocking. Again, Foster attacking the body. He heard him. Takedown attempt here up against the cage. Takedown attempt here by Greg Foster. Now, Nelson said that he's worked tirelessly on his takedown defense. He says that these guys are not, they're no longer going to be able to take him down. We'll see if he's true. First takedown nice. for nice. Greg Foster. Takedown by Greg Foster. Nelson immediately get, gets full guard, though. Well, and he's damn near in his corner over here is Greg Foster. Beautiful elbow over the top from Greg Foster. Right now, me and J.J. Nelson have the same color toes. J.J. Nelson doing a good job holding on to him. Negating a lot of the damage. Good elbow from Greg Foster. He's got him smooshed up against the cage there. Open guard here by Nelson. Oh, no, there he's crossed. Closed guard. Like I said, he's avoiding a lot of the damage here. Good posture. And an escape. Oh, nice up kick from J.J. Nelson. Gr ground and pound here by Greg Foster. Oh, that was a nice up kick. That was a nice up kick. Foster got cut Someone, on that up kick. Someone's cut. Oh no, I think I think Nelson was warned for grabbing the cage. Sorry, I was so busy watching these up kicks. And the ground and pound for Foster, I didn't even see a cage grab. Now look for Foster to take him away from the cage to take that weapon away. Good control here from Foster. He can easily switch to a north-south position. No, Greg Foster is very, very good on top. I expect him to look for this, look to work here from side control. Man, he is bleeding pretty bad. He does not care. Look, I saw it that time. I saw it that time. He was grabbing the cage again. Foster in full oh, mount. Full mount that, this is my favorite submission, head ladies and gentlemen. Look, look, Greg Foster looking to cut. Nope, nope, never mind. Switch it to a triangle. Oh, triangle man. Oh, man. Oh, beautiful. That's it. That's a tap. Get your ass in there. Are you not entertained? Greg Foster with a beautiful first round triangle transition. All right, I got to get in there. I yeah, JJ there. Nelson put up a fight. There. I gotta get in there. Get in there, go, go. JJ Nelson versus Greg Foster doesn't get out of the first round. And Foster's gonna have a nice little scar to remember his second fight. Cutman Casey's gotta get in there and do some work here. JJ Nelson showed improved takedown defense, but Greg Foster was not going to be denied. Got the fight to the ground. Oh, here we go. Let me take that for you, sir. I got you. Here's the replay. Look at that, beautiful. And that was from the arm triangle in full mount. Switches over to the triangle from the top position, rolls over to the back. I mean, there was no getting out of that. JJ Nelson wasn't gonna do himself any favors by hanging out there. He would have just gone unconscious and that he doesn't need to do that. Now, Greg Foster, as we stated before, is one of the most technical guys in the 45 pound division. 55 pound division, 50 pound catch weight. 
whatever division this man wants to compete in, he is one of the most well-rounded guys in any of these divisions. And you look at a guy like J.J. Nelson, yeah, he might be 0-3, but this is the guy that they call when they need somebody to step up, and he only fights killers. Right now, 0-3 against the lab. But again, you're talking about three studs. And he put up a really good fight against Foster. I didn't really like the cage grabs. I didn't see him at first, and then, you know, of course, Al Guiney, on top of the action, sees it. And then I saw it the second time, but man, what a Ladies fight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight comes to a close at 257 of round number one. Your winner on submission to tap triangle choke out of the red corner, Greg Pushfist Foster! Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Do you, hold, hold this real quick. Hold this real quick. Uh-oh. What are we doing here, Ed? My man. Oh. There we go. Do you, have, do you have any idea how hard it was for me to stay unbiased during this commentary? Greg, punch first, Foster. Dude, I've, I've, watched, I've watched you a long time. It's an honor to see you fight professionally. Um, that's a really nasty cut, dude. Yeah, bud. All right. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, Got to be grateful for my MMA Lab family. Um, love those guys, and uh, you know, so excited to perform out here and just keep getting better, win and learn, win and learn, and on to the next. You know. Do you want a quick turnaround? I mean, you you got in this fight before the end of the year against a very game opponent. Um, how do you feel going into how do you feel going into this next year? What do you want to do next year? Oh yeah, me and Coach have already kind of laid it out, so we're gonna try to get three fights next year, five and zero oh by the end of the year, and we'll be in a good uh, good position to make some moves. Greg Foster, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's a pleasure.